Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to model and texture a book in Blender. We're going to be using images found online and a cool texturing trick that I use all the time. So let's jump into it and get started. So as we get started here, let's begin with a default cube and we're going to scale this into our book shape. So press S, X, and we can start to modify the scale. S, Y, get our height, S, Sorry, S, Y now, get our thickness. S, Z helps you get your height. And once we have a shape we're happy with, make sure to be using references. We can create our pages. So select the th three outer edges here and press I to inset. Oh, before we do that actually, let's make sure our scale is applied. So control A, that for scale. Press I. Now we should have even edges. That's perfect. We don't want to go too big. I think honestly that is pretty close to what I want. That looks great. Now let's extrude our pages in. Alt E. Extrude faces along normals. And we'll just bring that in just slightly. Not too much again. Just enough to create a definition between the pages and the cover. Perfect. Next, let's create a binding. So press seven, go to edge mode, control R, and we will divide down the middle here. And let's go ahead and use nine, nine edge loops. Grab this middle edge, click this button up here, this is proportional editing. Click seven again to return to top view. Press G, move along the X axis, and then we will scroll up and down until we get a nice curve along that binding. I think that looks pretty good. Perfect. And the next issue we need to fix is their shading here. So we go to object data properties, normals, auto smooth, turn that on. Shade auto smooth. And there we are. Go to edge mode. Let's grab these corners and bevel them out so they're a little softer. Control B. And let's use about four segments. And just keep that bevel small. Perfect. Next, I want to bevel the corners up here. So we can go edge, select our edges. One, two, three, four, and zoom in on one of those edges. So we can control our bevel precision. Control B. Once again, let's use four. And just a small bevel is all we need. That's perfect. And we are just about done here. We're going to simplify our geometry. Go to face mode. Press on one edge or one face here, and then hold the command and click on the opposite edge and that'll select everything in between. So hold shift, command, click on the opposite. Shift, command or control, and then click on the opposite. And once we have all that selected, press X, limited dissolve. That'll make our pages three planes instead of like 17 or you know, whatever, whatever number that was. And then we can then jump to materials, this little circle down here, and we're going to assign two different materials. One will be our pages, one will be the cover. So back to face mode, make sure those pages are selected, and we will create a new material. We'll call it pages, and then we'll create another material, call this cover. And for pages, with those three blocks selected, we'll click Assign, Deselect, and Select to make sure our selection is correct. Oops. Let's see, one, two, three, pages, assign, deselect, select. Oh, sometimes it needs the opposite too. Deselect, um, page cover. What we can do here to save ourselves some time is select your pages, press Control I. 
you invert your selection there, cover, assign, pages, one, two, three, assign, cover, select, pages, select, great. And then we will just add some color, keep our pages white, and let's make our cover um, just something dark. Let's just like a blue or something. And then there we go. That is perfect. So I think before we add our textures, let's do something that's very important for photorealism. Add a bevel modifier. We're going to zoom in. Increase the segments to at least three. I mean, since we're rendering, let's do four or five. Um, doesn't need to be super high though, but anywhere between three and five should be great. Um, let's go 0 0.05, try to find a nice number. I'm just kind of checking out what each bevel looks like. Honestly, 0 0.01 is perfect. Okay, so next we're going to go to shading and we have our materials right here and we're going to go find an image for these cover for these textures so open up an internet browser let's go to textures.com create a free account if you haven't i'm going to log in really quickly there we go and we are going to do book cover and textures has an amazing selection for you. These are just photos of old books and they all look really nice. Um, if you select an image you like, you get a couple different options. I'm gonna choose the one that has the highest resolution for free. So anything that's not premium, let's do this one. Start that download and there's our image. Resolution looks great. We'll close. Uh, and we need one more image. Let's look up um, pages. Oops. So pages of an old book and images, and we can just kind of browse and see what we get. I'm gonna say texture. There we go something like this. I think this will be good if it is high enough resolution. 2000 by 1300 is perfect. And we are going to save image as, hopefully that saves. Let's go to desktop, Just save it there for now. Perfect. And close your browser. First things first, we're going to grab our cover and apply that. So bring your cover in and perfect. And you can see that we have some issues. Our text, our, our book needs to be unwrapped. Let's grab our edges here. Let's grab the outside cover of the cover. Boom. I'm pressing control, sorry, shift, alt, left click, and that grabs an edge loop. And I'm sorry, I'm just making sure that's selected. Okay, we have everything here. Turn off proportional editing. I just like to grab it real quick just to make sure. You can undo your grab by right clicking. And first we will go U and we'll go mark seam. That'll be highlighted in red, that's perfect. Uh, let's mark, let's create a seam where the page will be. Actually, and we can do that really easily. Go there, go to edges, um, unselect, let's see, unselect that, oops, edges, unselect that mode, and that one. And I believe we have all those edges selected. If you can't see your edge when you're zooming in, that means your bevel is in the way, you can always just Click this icon to turn off your bevel. We will press U, mark seam, and I think that'll be good for us. Um, well, yeah, let's see. Let's see what happens. Press all, A, view, 
unwrap. Perfect. This is what we want. We want foot cover, binding, foot cover, so it matches up with our image. So shading, foot cover. So let's jump into our UV editing mode and we can line up our um, UV squares with our image texture. So select the outside of your cover, press A, select all on UV editing menu. Let's rotate it 90 degrees by pressing R, typing in 90. Scale up, and we're gonna try to get this as close as we can here. After you're done scaling, let's grab each edge of the book cover. Press A, bring it up, and let's grab the top ends here. I'm just gonna go just under the white. So not to the edge of the texture, just close enough. I think that should be perfect. And we can take a look and see what we have. And it's always great to check and make sure you're happy with your results. It's looking great. Actually, if you can't see this because of the compression on YouTube, there is a subtle line going across our book. And we can easily fix that by adding a weighted normal modifier. And just like that, it's gone. So that's a handy trick that I use all the time. So uh, once we're happy with the way our book texture is lined up, we can move to the next step back to edit mode. We need to get our, the edges of our book texture here. So we can do, actually, we can do this. Um, select our book texture again, the outside. Press Control I, and that'll help us once again. Deselect the middle section, and now we have the entire outside. You can either press A for all, or a cool thing you can do is press L, hover your mouse over, tap L, and you can select the island right there. For this, we don't need super high quality, so we can just line it up into a spot that looks good for it. And I think that just that dark brown will be fine. And that's great. We can now go back to shading and work on our pages. So we can go to here, click pages. We're going to add our image we found earlier. Drag and drop. And then we go color to base color. And let's go to UV editing. Select on our pages. Make sure our orientation is correct. And we can go ahead and scale this up and around until we are happy with our results. And with this, we have an interesting choice. We can either scale up like this if we want to get the full resolution. But you can see there's an issue with that. You have a seam here. So I don't want to do that. I'm going to scale it down. And you can mess around with scaling on the y-axis. And there is a bit of a problem when you do that. It stretches out the texture, so you don't want to do too much. So let's scale back down until we're happy with our results. I think that looks good. And actually, you know, a little more. I think I'm not too happy with the stretch. I think that's great. And one thing we want to do here is mess with our roughness. So turn that roughness up to one, go back to the cover. Let's do the same thing for that roughness to one. And there we are, we have our book, but it's still looking just a little flat. So there's one really cool trick that I use all the time that I'm excited to share with you guys. We're going to create a normal map just based on the image itself. So go to the internet, download a free open source program called GIMP. And within that software, we can drag our image texture, convert it. Perfect. Go to filters, generic, and then press normal map. Select OK. And just right away, we get a really great looking normal map. And you can see that we're going to add all these fine textures to our book 
just to add that next level of realism. And we can go here to File, Export As. I'm just going to call this Book Cover Normal Map. Um, make sure to put .jpeg or .png. Export to your desktop. Minus. And there we are. We can drag this image in. Really important for normal maps, press Shift A to add a normal map node because we need to go color to color and then normal to normal. And one more really important thing, make sure color space is set to non-color. That's super important. Otherwise, if it's on the default sRGB, you're gonna get some color differences that don't look quite right. So non-color, it's gonna bring back its original color. And you can see, Actually, I'm just gonna boost this for exaggeration. You can see what this is doing. So keep it at one. That's usually pretty good. And let's do the same thing for our image, our uh, pages here. This is a great opportunity for you to try and do everything we just learned by yourself before uh, continuing along. Um, but after you've done that, I'll show you how to do it real quick. So return to GIMP. Remember, drag and drop your image. Tools, sorry, filter, generic, normal map. Perfect. File, export. Pages, normal map, dot JPEG. Save it to your desktop for easy access. From there, oops. If you ever lose, this sometimes uh, the interface here can be a little glitchy. If you ever lose it, go to View, Frame All, and that'll find it really quickly for you. Drag in your normal map. Remember, non color, Shift A, type in normal map, connect your nodes. And let's just double check to make sure this is working. Great. And we are done. So as we wrap this video up, here you can see that I have displayed the book in a nice appealing way. Um, please feel free to experiment with how you render this yourself. All I've really done to show you just how simple it is, is out of the plane, three different point lights and a camera. So as a final point, I want to show you what is possible with this technique. I spent a little bit longer making this book. And if you spend more time focusing on those little details, you can get a nice level of realism that you can use in any number of projects really quickly. So there's a lot of different possibilities out there that you can use from free images. Um, if you're learning Blender for the first time, eventually you're going to want to learn how to use a texturing software. But in the meantime, this is a really simple method to get you started.